Hi, it's July 22nd, 2018. It is my seventh week of, seven, I think it's my seventh week of summer vacation. It might be my eighth. Anyways, um, I have a week and a half left of summer break. That's what I do now. And I'm sitting there in Anthony to plan the week. She's not supposed to be eating that eraser. <laughs> you know that. And the strategy I use is something from Girl Scout Camp that we called girl planning. So when the campers arrive, they make a list of everything they wanna do, and then a unit leader goes in and builds a schedule based on that. Well, the schedule kinda works around the things that don't change. So I take my planner, and I write in the things that don't change, and then I fill in things off of my list, and things that aren't priorities, not fit, just get scratched off or maybe moved until the next week. So. We're gonna sit down and plan right now and get as much done as we can. So we didn't make it to the store today. Uh, I'm just too tired from last night and I worked more on planning my week. And what I did was I texted a whole bunch of people to make social plans for this week. Uh, I mentioned this before, but I've read quite a few books that talk about the importance of face-to-face -face social relationships. And we've only lived up here for two and a half years and it's been kind of slow to make friends up here. So. Um, I scheduled time my sister's gonna come up. We're gonna have one of my teacher friends from work come over with her boys. We're gonna go to the pool. And when we're gonna go down to San Diego one day and see one of my ed tech friends and also meet up with one of my, uh, my friends who is expecting and we're gonna go meet up with her for lunch. So it's going to be a very, very social week in addition to getting back to, slowly getting back to school. Oh. On Saturday though, we're going to the Pine Valley Days Parade because my mom is the Grand Marshal, so that will be a fun, fun day for us. I think we're doing a family thing on Wednesday, but we haven't picked what our big family day is going to be yet. It's gonna be really, really hot. This week I say it all the time, but it's gonna be over 100, so it kind of limits where we go. But I'm sure you'll be able to see it throughout the week. By the way, right now I'm making some pizza for the family. During the school year, I hardly ever get to cook. Like, it's like nothing, but during the summer, I can cook. It's Monday morning, Nuari and I are out in the garden. Look at what we found. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. Let me see if I can get to focus for you. Look at that. What is it, Nuari? Don't touch. Is he stinky? Ew. You think he's gross? Okay, we got, we're gonna go, we're gonna get rid of him. But I have a plan. I'm not gonna kill him though because, well he's big and I'd feel bad. No, no touching. Okay, so instead of killing it, we're going to let it go. He can go live across the street in the HOA plants. I'm pretty good at killing the little, little bugs, but like how would I kill that? I can't squish that, it would pop. That's disgusting, huh? So he can just go live a happy life in the honeysuckles. turtles oh, nice. they're nice oh, so we're, no worry and I are at Lake Haverson um, we stop by here sometimes we're not running errands it's a little man-made lake in a pre-planned community it's a nice community but oh. where we live is a little more um, spread out which I like it's a little quieter this is kind of down in like the heart more of towards Temecula um, don't chew on your shoe, yucky. I'm walking around and I'm like, I have this like dreaded feeling, like this weird feeling and I can't figure out what it is. I thought it was like, man, is it because I need to go shopping? No, it's because I'm going back to work next week and people are like, yay, yay, back to work, back to work, I'm so excited. And I mean, I like the start of something new, but now that I'm a mom, it's actually not as exciting. I really enjoy spending my days with her and going on adventures and having all my plans just be to do things to like make her happy and make our family happy. And when I go back to school, I don't get all that time. And there's just this little window every day after school and then there's the weekends, but it's not the same. I didn't think I would be like this. I thought that when I was pregnant, I thought I would be like bitter that I was missing work all the time, but no. Now it's the other way around. Like, I thought I would be sad that 
I would have to spend so much time with the kid and not enough time like focusing on my students in my class. And now I'm like, no, forget that. I'm going to do a good job teaching and become way more efficient at what I'm doing so I can maximize my time with this little bug so she can learn and learn and learn because my students have their families and she's just got me and her dad and everybody and we've got to teach her everything she can and right now these shears are so important to her. Like look at her play the stick, say stick. And I've seen her grown so much this summer and her words are growing right now this morning. She said shoe as I put shoe on her like she's just growing and learning and learning and learning and I'm gonna miss some of those things when I'm at work but I'm gonna be teaching other kids how to read and stuff which I mean is important but it's not as fulfilling as watching her figure out a new word or watch turtles at the lake. Morning, it's Tuesday. Nuari and I are at the pool. We are with our cousins and my sister. I just realized I lined up an entire week of socializing this week. Every single day this week we're hanging out because we had people over for dinner last night. We're hanging out every day. So Nuari loves her cousins, Abby and Anna. Baby Carter's sleeping in the stroller, but we're gonna go swim, girl. Oh. <laughs> Showing now. Oh, <laughs> don't fall. <laughs> you trying to kiss him? Okay, kiss, kiss. Oh, you're spinning. You're really little underwater. <laughs> so it's 107 out here at least. I came out to. Um, wash the dogs and I came to peek at my garden make sure everybody's going okay when I pepper, pepper plants I'm like what the heck you're missing half of yourself what happened like I swear to you it's the same one I threw over the fence look at how disgusting okay this time I'm not so nice oh my god don't touch me on a better note, there are some great things happening in the garden, so I'll just take advantage of this time to show you the good things, not just the disgusting worms. Just to clarify, I wasn't just checking on the dogs. When it's this hot, they're allowed in the house, but I sent them out because I was getting them ready to wash them, so. I now have four clean dogs. That's Hank, that's Savannah. Nashville's the lazy one who howls, and that's Lassie who's ignoring me. <laughs> it's Wednesday, we decided not to do family day because we're gonna do it Saturday, and because it's over like triple digits outside. I'm putting makeup on. Look what Noir's doing, Noir, look up. Oh, you did your own, huh? Yeah. I'm sitting down, I have some nice peaceful, quiet time. I'm trying to do some planning and made a mistake. So I bought this book because people on Instagram are like, this book is fabulous. I've been asked people, should I buy it? I teach middle school ELs. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's great. No, it doesn't work for my kids. I teach read 180, like I kind of have a curriculum I have to follow. My kids have to pass this big test called the LPAC. And like, this is not connected to my kids' needs. And I read other people's children earlier in the summer and it talked all about how like, I have to teach my kids the basics. Like they need the basics, they need the basics. And as I'm looking at my LPAC list again, it's like listening, reading, writing, speaking. This is what I need to be prepping my kids for, not what these people are prepping their kids for. Like, foundationally, by looking at what's in the book, those kids know how to put a sentence together. They know how to read and how to decode. And I get the one-on-one -on -one conferring is really important, but I think small group instructions actually 
sometimes more powerful for kids. I mean, there's time to do both, which is why I'm looking more at flex model compared to just station rotation. Um, and I like the idea in here of like giving the kids time every single day to sit down and read and developing that culture and choice in what the kids are reading and not using leveled text. Like, that's the part I was really looking for. But then I started digging deep when it's like setting up units and this book's not made for people who have a district curriculum at all. This is if you are gonna build curriculum from scratch, oh, and you're on a team with a whole bunch of people and you're gonna spend all your time building this crazy curriculum with all these supplemental texts and things like, that's not me right now. I mean, that's good, but it's not what my kids need and it's too much work for a mom who's planning things on her own if you're gonna set up something like this, you better be on a committee and you just better be paying you to write that curriculum because it's too much freaking work. So um, I'm going more back towards edu protocols and towards what I read in other people's children and I'm going to set up a plan to teach my kids the basics and the skills that they really need. So um, I don't know what my plan's going to look like but it's gonna go super simple. I'm also trying to streamline a lot of my routines and things which goes back to protocols and just make it like predictable and easy and our class period's only 43 minutes each so like I can't be changing it up a lot because it's gonna be fast, fast, fast for the kids. Uh, okay, gonna get back to work. I'll hopefully share out some amazing, beautiful plan. I've also noticed I've been in a funk lately and it's because I'm feeling the stress and I always forget that I do this. Like when I don't have a plan of what's coming up next, I feel anxious. I felt it earlier in the summer when I didn't have a plan for like my days and what I was going to do. So I planned all that out every Sunday. I make my plan. I'm, I like use like my school year planning time for my family time. But now I'm looking at my whole school year and I don't know what I'm doing week to week. I don't know what units I'm doing. I don't want my kids to have to take their reading performance assessments, so I can't fully map everything out, but I don't know what the day-to-day -day in my class is going to look like, and it's not gonna be the same as last year because last year was not effective. How I said Southern California is full of wildfires in the summer and fall. I said it in last week's vlog, look behind me. Check that thing out. That's a giant cloud from the smoke of a fire in Idlewild, which is in the hill out there. It's not a hill, it's a mountain. Um, Pacific Crest Trail is up there. It's a big mountain out behind our house. So. There's a giant fire up there and it was started by arson, which is just absolutely like the most disgusting, horrible thing. It's grown, it's like 3,000 acres in just a few hours or something and they evacuated the whole little sleepy town up there. It's sad. I hope they get it out soon. That cloud though is pretty severe. Um, on a more positive note, garden's always happening. There's a little radish down here that I think is almost ready to pick, but I don't know how to tell when he's totally ready. I'm gonna have to look up when to tell if they're gone. I don't know if you like radishes or not, little miss. So it's later than I was expecting to do this, but Noir and I are going to pick and eat our first two strawberries. You probably can't even see them, it's so dark, but we have to pick them because they are gonna go bad on there. Okay, they're in my hand. I'm gonna take them in the house so you can see. Okay, I washed the strawberries. What do you think? You like? Mmm, you're eating your own strawberries. It's Thursday. I had plans today to go to San Diego. However, Nuari has a bug and she doesn't feel good. So we're home. Well, I need groceries. And I was like, I can go to the store, but my like mom hack things or even working people hack things is to use Instacart because like if it's on a full big load of groceries and I'm not that picky about my fruit or whatever, it totally saves me time. And the the like little fees are worth me getting up, putting her in the car, getting out of the house. Like that's a lot. And she just, you can tell, look at her little eyes. She doesn't feel good. So it's not worth it. Oh, eyes. Yeah. Your eyes. Oh, good job. Okay. <laughs> um, by the way, that fire is still outside. I'll take you guys out later and see it's got this big cloud again. It's still burning. Uh, I'm also getting some work done today on my standing desk. I haven't used it in years. Years. I haven't used it in a year. <laughs> years, I've been in this house years. I haven't used it in a year. But earlier while she took a nap, I was actually able to sit in it and get some work done. I'm working on my planning for next year. I know people sit down there like, plan with me. No, I can't do that. I'll show you afterwards what I got done and what I'm thinking through, but it's a really, really slow process for me and I loop back around and zigzag between things in different books. So I'll show you the, like after what I did. 
Look at who's a uh, boss watering the garden. Daddy taught her how. She's probably drowning this poor squash plant. <laughs> but she figured out that she can move it back and forth on her own. You got it, baby? Uh, help her, help her. Help her. Ah! Oh, okay. We're gonna get the zoo. Oh, this is great film. Let you know, me... can just use the other, other camera, right? Yeah, let me try this again. Okay. Am I going to be able to take it off by myself? Oh, uh oh, I hope it's ripe all the way. It's flower came off. I think it is. Oh my gosh. Wow. One zucchini. Wow. Wow. Is that yours? You made that? Yeah, you grew a zucchini. Wow. Good job. We have to cook it, okay? Okay. You wanna eat it? Oh, our Instacart order's here. Let's go. Our Instacart order just arrived. I don't know what she's hoping to find in there. Um, we are doing a, oh no, she wants that. You can't have that. That's only a treat. We are going to the pool tomorrow with one of my teacher mom friends from work and we're making a taco salad, which is why we have this. She normally doesn't get cheese, but she's already learned. Oh God. Oh boy, anyways, Instacart's fabulous. I just pushed buttons and my groceries are here and we didn't have to leave the house. I forgot to come out earlier and show you the fire. It's uh, still going. The big plumes were coming up earlier, but I forgot to record it. It's Friday, guess where we are again? Oh, we're at the pool. We're gonna go swimming. We're with my friend Michelle and her two kids. And say hi, hi Owen. Can you That's wave? Michelle. You wanna wave? Are you gonna show off your swim moves in the pool later? Yeah? Can you can show her how you swim and float? Yeah. Michelle teaches math in Avid at my school. She is my best mom friend at work. And we have not gotten to hang out all summer. No. On the edge, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, <laughs> he tried to bite her nose. Float and then float. <laughs> Lover. We're heading home from the pool. It's been a nice afternoon. We're not buying ice cream. Niwari's eating a rice cake instead. <laughs> so I just got done filming a teacher mommy tag video and Niwari was sleeping peacefully on the other couch and she woke up right at the end and she is exhausted from the pool. She's had all of her needs met. She just wants to hug me and lay her head here. Some days it's like this. It's pretty sweet. But that, um, the teacher mommy tag, by the time this vlogs up, that mommy tag will be up. So um, I'll put a link up, and then if you go down to I'll put a link there so you can check it out. It'll be on my channel. It was a collaboration with Deanda. Her channel name's just Deanda. She asked me to join in on it. So if you are a teacher mom and you want to check that out, you should check out that video and then the other tags by the other teachers who are on it too. Um, I'm excited to see what they have to say too. Okay, we're going to go cook some gluten-free spaghetti. Going outside makes her happier, so we're going to try that. I've got to go get some shoes on though. We're gonna go check the mail. I think I have some books in the mail, and if I do, I will share them with you when we come back. So I just had my first big like attempt at unboxing. Remember I said I was going to the mail, so I went to the mailbox, and I got two orange envelopes, right? And I was all like, oh, I got these. And I did all this hub and like took them out and talked all about it. Just check the video. I didn't record anything. And you can't like redo that. Like I can't like pretend to open them again. Hmm. So we're gonna go back and just pretend. So first, I opened the big envelope and these were two books I ordered. I ordered Learning Transformed, Eight Keys to Designing Tomorrow's Schools Today by Eric Scheringer and Thomas C. Murray. I ordered this because I've been getting really annoyed with people cluttering up their classrooms and posting it and like young teachers spending tons of money on designing their class and using little fonts and writing everywhere. The kids can't even read the fonts, the classrooms are cluttered. And I know that research says that this is not what kids need for their learning environments. And in Eric's keynote that I saw at ASTI, ASTI is Alaska's ISTE affiliate, so it's Alaskan Society for Technology and Education. At his conference, he actually talked about things being Pinterest pretty in classrooms, 
and I know this book has a whole chapter about designing learning spaces so I'm gonna fast forward and read that chapter before I get my room totally ready because I want to make sure what I'm doing is based on research and not what's based on what's trendy or what I like because as someone recently said on my Instagram it's not about me it's about the kids so I'm going to skip to that chapter but I've been looking forward to reading this whole book I just been putting it off so um, hope they'll have a review of this soon um, in that envelope also was Nuari's new book, which she pulled out. It was really cute, but I didn't catch it to show you. I bought her Amazing Me Dressing Up by Carol Thompson. It was only $2.99, I think, because it just... Here, here, here. I think because it just came out. It, um, I found it when I was looking for books with diverse kids. Oh, she likes the kids. They're laughing. Um, she's looking at the kids. So I picked this up, one up from her, and I can already see right now that the kids are a nice pretty well represented group of kids not just a bunch of blonde kids which annoys me um, and I also got a book from an author that I was most excited to open um, I follow Adam welcome on Instagram and I read his book kids deserve it it's on my to be reviewed list like I have so many books on that list and um, he sent me this book to read so it's run like a pirate push yourself to get more out of life by Adam welcome I'm excited for run like a pirate because I like books that are pep talks kids deserve it was a very good pep talk about teaching um, probably won't go running though Adam I did my 5k days a while back like I used to put the dogs on my fanny pack and we'd go run and it was great but uh where I live it's really hot like 109 today there's no running here today for me I'm all about the yoga and my standing desk but I could exercise more and I do have a lot of goals to set um, maybe I could get some better like even yoga goals like I could improve some moves or finally get my heels down and downward dog I'm doing yoga for years and I still can't get my heels down that's embarrassing huh so I'm very excited about run like a pirate thank you Adam um, by the way, on Insta, he's good to watch because he gives you little pep talks every day. And I also got some stickers from him for my laptop. I love laptop stickers. That's like good swag inside of a book. So, uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to read Walter the Farting Dog in Japanese. I get to make up the story every time because I don't know what that says to you. Oh, I bumped it's Saturday. We're at the Pine Valley Days Parade in well, my hometown area here with my family waiting for my mom and nieces to come through. My mom's the Grand Marshal. <laughs> Hi, Grammy! Nishantha sent the drone up and there were horses by us. And one of the cowboys it spooked the horses and one of the cowboys lay. I ain't never seen one of those before. <laughs> Wrapping up for the week, um, our blueberries. Let me get in there. 
are ready. So we're gonna pick a few and eat a few for the first time. I have three here, one for each of us. Niwari, I have water, rinsing. Hey, you want to eat something? Niwari, come here. Sweet girl. Okay. Look at this. Daddy, take one. Okay. Thank you. Niwari. Mommy, eat, 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 eat. Oh, eat, yummy! It was, um, it's not the best blueberry I've ever had. <laughs> She's looking for more now. She figured out they're in there. Um, thank right you here. for watching one. the vlog. Eat this one. This. Is she gonna get it? Yeah. Eat it like mommy doesn't like us to eat it. No, she has good manners. Okay, thank you for watching our vlog this week. If you like it, give it a like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. This week, oh, more, she says. This week, I also posted a teacher mommy tag, so that video will be on here, too. So in case you missed that, check that out. Um, we will see you next week. Okay, bye, everyone. Say bye. Bye, people. Do I say bye? It's too late. She needs an authentic bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, you're eating blueberries? Oh, we've created a blueberry monster.